Brian Fox Sports next here with Rutgers, still freshman, Ruhan Field. Ruhan, what's the difference mindset? Last year you kind of knew you were red shirt, and now you're kind of getting ready, you know, learning a new offensive coordinator system, but also getting ready to play during the season coming up. What's your mindset of spring? Uh, spring is just really focusing on the little things, the fundamental things, and routes running in the playbook, really getting it down packed and being relaxed. Uh, and staying relaxed in the huddle. Right now, I'm trying to learn the plays the way I know it, just where I don't have to think about it. It just comes like instant. With learning the plays, is it much different than what you had last year with Coach Brock? Uh, yeah, I would say it's very in, different. In what way? Uh, the way we line up the formations, the bunches, it's just some words that meant some things this year is totally different from this year. How, I don't know if confusing is the right word, but how is it trying to learn all this stuff? Because in high school, everything is so simplistic. Right. Even though at the time you think it's, it's, it's in-depth, but when you look back, it's simplistic. How difficult is it just learning all this stuff? It's very hard to learn the plays here. And, you know, it's not only like learning... In high school, you just got to know the route. You got to know like the concept of certain things here. You have to know like not only your position, but every other receiver is doing. Who helps you? Uh, Miles Schumer, Karan Pratt. And what, what's the best advice they give you? Just they tell me relax and don't think. Just play football and pay attention to what I what the concept is, and not what I have on that particular play. When you look at you know, I know the season's a long way away, but are you antsy just to get going with some, with the season? Because you, you're not used to not playing. Yeah, it's you know, been a long time since I played in the game, so I'm trying to stay in my playbook, I'm trying to learn the play so I can be able to fit this year and help the whole team out this year. Where do you fit in this offense, do you think? I mean, um, possession guy down the field, X, Y, Z. What, I mean, possession guy, you know, slot. You know, I think I'm definitely a possession receiver. What do you What do you need to work on? I know you got to work on everything and get you know plays and everything. But what, when you look at your your development this spring, what What are the concentration points? Uh, I would say breaking points and routes, and not being too high, and sinking my hips, and the little things to make my routes more better and crisp. All right. Who, with Coach Coach Simon, guy helping you out a lot with that oh, stuff? Yeah, he's or? unbelievable. In what way? What I mean, he's willing at any time to help you. He's, he's patient. He's like he's consistent and just keeps going over it and keeps going over it. It goes over every little thing, every little detail that you need to know or you don't need to know. He helps you with it and makes sure that you understand it fully before he moves on to one thing. You can spend 15, 20 minutes on one thing before you even get to the big, big point of what he's trying to explain. Is that helpful? I mean, very helpful. Right. And, and when you're looking at, at your development as a receiver, where have you made the most growth? I would say I learned the most growth in like reading defenders and know how to set them up one way to come back one way. Like to like, if I'm going inside, I learn how to stretch them outside and to go back inside and vice versa. Like it's like footwork and the little middle things to have a deep back thinking I'm doing one thing and doing the complete opposite. All right, and last thing, when, when you you guys do a lot of seven on seven before spring practice and everything, who's the cornerback you can't wait to go against? Who do you who do you have the best battles with? The best what? Battles with. Devon Jacobs. Really? And why is that? I mean, what, what is it that jumps out? Uh, I mean, he's so physical, you know. I'm a smaller receiver, so he, when he comes, when me and me, him go together, he's, he's aggressive, so out of everybody, he gave me the most problem this during like seven on seven with the ones in the bubble, just an awesome winner. So I guess it, it's helping you get off jams and everything then? Yes. So there is benefit. This yes. one. All right, Ruhan, thanks for the time. Thank you. Yes, one. She is. Brian, Fox Sports next here with Isaac Holmes, defensive tackle. Um, your hand is still bandaged up, your left wrist and everything. How did the rehab go and where are you in terms of being healthy? Uh, the rehab, I think that went really well. Uh, I came a long way. I've been out for a while, so it really felt good to go out there and play football again and test it one more time. But uh, I feel like the surgery went well, and uh, I think uh, I made a good recovery. Is it just heavily bandaged to protect it, or is there still some soreness involved? Uh, there's still a little bit of soreness involved, but uh, it's really for protection. You know? I don't want to go out there and risk it and do any damage or whatnot, so I just want to be on the safe side with it. That's all. You know, looking at the way the defense played last season, it seemed to change a lot in the running game and the success of the defense after you went out. How tough was it to sit and watch that? 
Uh, that probably was the hardest thing of the, out of the whole injury, you know, sitting there watching that. Uh, we, we took some 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 shots and up the middle just when I went down, but uh, I think the guys recovered well over the replacement and everything. But uh, it, I can honestly say that probably was the hardest part to actually watch. You know, what I'm saying when we was doing really bad. Usually, you know, guys that play your position on the nose, they they don't get a lot of notoriety unless things are going poorly. What was it do you think that you brought early in the season that worked out so well? Uh, early in the season, uh, I, brought a, I brought a big body presence in there. You know, we're not that big up front. We move a lot, but uh, you know, me being in there early in the season, I had that presence in the middle where it made our run defense a lot better. You know, but even when I went down and stuff like that, we made some movements and everything like that. We, we picked it back up, but uh, it just took some while to get, get used to it, me not being there. Hey, you guys changed defensive coordinators. It's a guy you're familiar with still with Dave Cohen. Is it, what can you tell the difference in the off season between maybe him and what Coach Smith had brought here? Uh, there's, there's no really difference uh, scheme wise and like that. We still we still we still Rutgers. We still Rutgers defense, you know. But uh, only thing is there's difference is the personality. You know? uh, Coach Smith was a, a more of a laid back guy, made sure everything was right. And Coach Cohen, he's more of a in your face hype type of person. So it's like he's actually gets after us a lot more. So I think that we're gonna have a really good defense this year. Does it, is there a big adjustment? Because you know you still have Coach Panagos as your D line coach and everything. Is there much change for you? Uh, I got to say it's not much change for us at all. And in, in terms of spring practice, what do you individually want to get out of this? Uh, right now, I just want to get back in the mix of it. I've been out for a while. You know, it's been a long time since I played football. I got injured the fourth game, so I'm just looking to get back into the flow and uh, get my rhythm back. It's going to be a few days before you get the pads on and full gear and everything. Are you looking forward to the hitting aspect or what? Uh, that's what I'm really looking forward to. You know, I haven't hit in uh, some, some months. So uh, to get back in there to bang with my brothers again, that's, that's going to be a fun time. Right, thanks for the time. Thank you.